What's going on everybody? Well, I am on a load right now. I did not get any video of about this load, hooking it up, unhooking it, how much it costs, how much I'm spending fuel. This video pretty much is gonna be, I guess, what do I think about RV transport right now? My opinion on what's going on. Um, I think a lot of the, the ones that does videos, Holland Pauls, he put out a good video on it last night. I think Seed Farmer is going to be working on one. I imagine it's going to be a good one too. Um, but we're all pretty much, I mean, Holland Pauls hit, hit on the head. We, we don't know nothing uh, about what's going on. I know it's slow when people say, well, I've gotten. Uh, we got loads on our board. We got we, we have loads on our board right now, and I just got an email just five minutes ago, and that's the reason I turned the camera on, hit the record. I still get in emails and everything, and comments, text messages, and, and phone calls on. Is it good to get in RV transport? Well, we have loads, but the loads that are on our board right now. You can't survive on. They're Illinois. They're Missouri's. They're uh, little loads, 100 something miles, 200 something mile loads. Now we're going up here. Uh, everybody knows I like to run the big long runs. California. This one's not a California. Could not get a California. I picked a. Uh, I just picked. Right now, everybody's fighting over the low board. So. I don't even look at camper stuff. I look at states pretty much. What pops up, I see the state, I hit it. If it's a California, if it's a Utah, Oregon, Washington, something alone, because that's what I'm looking for to make money, to survive. The uh, comedy, uh, comedy, uh, it kind of is comedy. Um, the way the world is now, everything's going up, and it's continued to going up, and it's hurting a lot of people. RV transport is not the only thing that's hurting right now. So, y'all need to remember that. Do I advise anybody to go out and buy a truck right now and get started? No, do not. Uh, it's not the right time for it. Not only that, think about it this way. It doesn't matter if it's a new truck, a house, a boat, car, whatever, land. Right now, it's just not a good time to buy anything because you're paying more for it than what it actually worth. Because uh, that's like whenever I bought the 2018 Red Dodge Sandwich Maker truck. Okay. And then when I ordered this one, when I ordered this one, uh, everything was still going good. So by the time it got here, oh, because it took, I'm going to say, three, four months to get, uh, to start right off the top of my head. And, um, and everything went to crap pretty much when it come in and I was a little worried about it um, about me you know, having another truck payment because I'm still paying for the red one uh, but everything else is gone with it at house when you buy houses now you're giving more for it I give a whole lot more for this truck than I did the red one and yes the red one is a tradesman and this one is a, uh, a Bighorn. There, not the whole lot of difference for the money that you're given. Because if you looked at Bighorns back two years ago, then you're still giving 10, 15, even 20,000 more. And some people are saying, well, is it better to go buy a used one? Well, they're, they're selling the used ones almost much now are they selling the, the, the new ones for. So it's right now just not a good time to buy. And that's why the campers are went down because it's not a good time to buy. Every, the campers are up too high. That goes with everything. It don't matter really what you're doing. Uh, and I heard this, this may be a bad year uh, for us. And don't know exactly what all it's going to do. 
no one does. So it, no one knows what's exactly going to happen. I'm in uh, Wyoming right now. Got shut down last night. I was wanting to deliver this camper first thing this morning, but I got in some 40 mile an hour winds. I have a 38 foot toy hauler on and uh, fifth wheel. And my, like right now, I'm getting 11 miles to a gallon. When I hit Cheyenne, the, um, the wind kicked in. My fuel mileage went down to like 8.2. And I finally, it, it got a little hairy in, in a spot. I was trying to push it to Wyoming and stay there till the wind died down and all that good stuff because it was, it was pretty crazy. Uh, and then at one point in time, I even thought the wheels come up off the ground. I got hit pretty hard and scared the crap out of me. Hit the shoulder, make, you know, checked everything out. Then I pushed to Wyoming, uh, Laramie, and then went there and I just said, it ain't worth it, so I called it a night. Always use your head in situations like that because whenever I was driving and it was headwinds. Headwinds, you know, you're just gonna suck a lot of fuel. But if you, you turn or do something or the wind shifts and it gets that sideways wind, and when you got a big tall camper on like I have now, <clears throat> or even a little bitty old rinky dink camper, then that can lead to some problems pretty quick. So always remember to use your head out there. Do I advise anybody to get in RV transport right now? I do not. Uh, of course, is it a good time to really get in anything right now? Everything is, is fuel's going up, food's going up. Uh, let's see, I, was, I le listened to electric bills are fixing to go up for this winter, uh, natural gas and all that stuff. All that's going up. Federal taxes supposed to be going up. Pretty much, everybody's getting sucked out of all their money that they're, you know, that they're making. So, uh, I'm in it now. I'm I'm still paying my bills. I am, but I'm making any extra money. Not right now, I'm not. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. If it continues to stay slow like this, then then I, you know, I won't be able to make it. If it, if it doesn't bounce back and uh, before long, but right now I'm least to getting, whenever I come out, I may have to wait a couple days, but I'm least getting, you know, a decent load so I can pay the bills. Now, for the ones that, I got a fly in a truck. For the ones that are retired and, or you have another check coming in and you don't have to have a lot of money if you want to get started in doing this, it, it yeah, you can. It, it's a good job to have to go boat, to be able to travel and see the country and get a little bit of money for it. At least buy your fuel and, and put some money in your pocket. Uh, but for the ones that are trying to raise a family, has a wife, that this is the only income you have coming in, it's not a good time. Uh, this is the only income I have coming in besides YouTube, which thank y'all for watching, which I do not make a lot of money off of YouTube. I'm not that big. So uh, maybe one day I'll be able to make enough money off of YouTube. But... <clears throat> it's really not a good time to get in and because i don't know what's going on I, I hear stuff i hear right now there's part shortages uh i went to uh, a place and i'm not going to mention the name and one of the, the the manager's brother works at one of the camper places and said that they're just so slow they're closing down lines they're doing this and they're doing that but I went, I drove by Grand Design and, and they said it could be an, uh, another month. Well, they've been saying weeks and months, it's all through July and August. And now we're looking a couple of days, or this will be September, two more days, it'll be September. Uh, and it still ain't got no better. And everybody's fighting over the lows. Uh, you'll go to Indiana, you go to Elkhart, you go to Middlebury, you go to Goshen, all them places around where all the campers are. Everybody's sitting around and they're on the low board just sitting there picking. It ain't that, 
and I, I know there's probably some favor, favoritism out there where people are doing favors and getting loads and this and that. I have seen it, yes, but that's in every trucking company that you go to or any kind of transportation you go to or pretty much anywhere you go to work. Uh, it is aggravating, I know, it's frustrating, but uh, it's frustrating even on me, especially because this is my only, like I said, my only income. So I have to make enough money, X amount of dollars every week to pay the bills to put food on the table and uh, it's uh, got road construction coming up 18 wheeler gonna push it to the barrels man a lot of people's driving nowadays is a whole lot different let me slow down and let him man be a little bit safe yeah, people but um, it's not a good time to get in unless you've got another income coming in. Um, do I know when it's gonna come back? No. I've heard rumors two weeks, one week, a month. I don't think anybody knows. Um, now, some of the places I go to to haul the campers, some of them are saying that they're slow. Some people I go to, they're waiting on the new campers they're begging for the new campers and they're asking you know hey you bring another one you ain't got nothing else on the board so when i passed by grand design and their outside lot was pretty daggum full and some of the other manufacturers had a lot of you know they're sticking campers out it, it's got to be a part shortage uh they've got them there and they're waiting on something I heard metal to finish them up and so maybe it'll start picking up but you also have to think they're whatever company you're working with and waves put theirs on the board like that they can see them go back and get them right now the other ones wave right now I think is the only one I've heard doing that the others I think are still holding back like we have more in our lot we have more campers at our lot then it's on the board. They're not releasing them all at once and, and throwing them on there. Um, it might be a good thing if they do, but then again, if, if they do that and everybody picks all the good stuff, they got all the little ones sitting around, they're not getting hauled. And I also, another big thing that's kind of aggravating me about this right now is, well, the one that I have now, I got lucky when I hit it. Like I said, when I hit it, I was seen Utah, I hit it, took it. I didn't know what it paid, didn't know how big it was. But this one does pay a 211. And, but I've noticed, I've seen on the board popping up that a lot of them are going down. Uh, I've seen a lot of them are hitting to the $1.86 point and the monsters are paying, I've seen some monsters paying $1.96, uh, 211. And that would be okay if the fuel was down, but right now, the fuel is still going up. Uh, so there's a whole lot more people wanting to work, needing to work, than they can pretty much make more money in their pocket by just putting a load out there. Even though the fuel is going up, they can lower the rates, do whatever they want to do, and they're going to make a lot more money and the driver is not. And they know they can put them out there and people are still going to haul them. Uh, right now I'm just trying to stay afloat so I'm one of them people that, but if they get too silly with the prices I'm not going to haul them like I haven't picked one of them $1.86's yet going to California Arizona right now if you live in Arizona and you're wanting to get in this at Indiana Transport I don't know about any other companies but at Indiana Transport our Arizona's Florida's Southern Runs why Arizona's in there like that, Texas and all them are cheap. They always have been. They've always been cheaper than everywhere else. I guess because they know a lot of people live in them area and that's where they want to go. I want to go to Arizona. Me and uh, uh, another guy want to go down there and I want to do a video of some things down there. 
that I think would be very interesting and stuff I want to see for the first time for myself. Uh, I haven't got a chance to get down there to do that because every time I look for an Arizona to go down there to do that, the rates are cheap. You get a big fifth wheel camper going out there and you're going to use a whole lot more fuel, then it's not really worth it. So on the lows like that, I don't, I don't know what's going on. I, nobody does. I just think there's a whole lot of greed in it, just to be honest with you, in my opinion. Uh, but that's all over the world. It doesn't matter if it's RV transport. It doesn't matter if it's stores or anything. It's everything. Everything is outrageous. And I think it's going to be a rough year. It may not be. At least it's going to be a rough one right now. And I don't. It doesn't matter if you're in RV transport, if you're in trucking. Because I've gotten some phone calls from some uh, owner operators that that they're struggling in it as well. And then some of them say it's, they're, they're making plenty of money. So who knows? But I do want to throw that information out there. And the reason being because I'm still getting the emails and the messages about people still wanting to get in this. In my opinion, don't don't put yourself in that debt and like I said unless you're I've got another income coming in and this ain't gonna be your main source of income uh, because right now it's just not a good time to, for it to be your main source of income but it's gonna be all for this video hope y'all enjoyed it and uh, if y'all have any insight or your opinions or anything just put them down below uh, Maybe everybody in the comment section get out there and hash it out and uh, figure out. You work for a different company, but how your company is, is treating you right now. If uh, your load board is good, put that your load board is good. If your rates are going down, then let everybody know. So that way that people are looking, um, because I'm not telling everybody to come to Indiana Transport, even though it's where I work. I... I want everybody to make their own decision of what company that you're going to go work for, but you need to check out. <clears throat> and my opinion on that is you always need to check out more than one company. If you need to check out multiple of companies, call all of them. Call as many as you possibly can <clears throat> and get all the information that you possibly can because everything changes all the time with these companies. And it, it, it's kind of crazy. Some gonna have better rates. Some gonna have better fuel discounts. Some even gonna have more loads. And it all be for this month and next month. All the company stuff may switch, and it the one that didn't that paid the less could pay the most. I have seen that back and forth. Matter of fact, when I started, Indiana Transport was one of the highest paying ones that I come over, and now they're not. Uh, but I do still like working with Indiana Transport. Tunnel time. Um, I, I do like working here. I do like doing what I'm doing. And I hope everything picks back up and we can go back to work. It's like, in, like normal. But this economy is going to have to turn around. The economy is having the uh, effect on, uh, on everything. It doesn't matter what you're doing. But just want to put that out there for peace of mind of people. And uh, no, it's still not changed yet. So you have to do make your own decision of what you want to and what's best for you and your family. But I do not want to encourage nobody to come and do this that's going to have a family and kids because I do not want that on me. If I'm saying, oh, yeah, it's the best thing come, you know, since sliced bread. Come over here and get you some. It's like cornbread, fried taters, and pinto beans. Get you some fried chicken on the side and you got a meal. Well, before long, you might have all that, but the way everything's going now, it might just be some pinto beans and some loaf bread. It's just something to think about. Y'all be careful. Y'all be safe out there. See y'all in the next one.